Notification squad? Just kidding, I have no idea what that means. I hear that in a lot of uh, YouTube videos, or comments. A lot of people like comment on that. They say notification squad with an exclamation point, but I have no idea what they're talking about. So, um, if anyone knows, let me know. What I do know is today is March 31st, 2017. Today is the two year anniversary of me having my very first can of green from Treehouse. If you guys follow my beer reviews, you know that is my favorite beer in the world. My absolute favorite beer on the planet. The best IPA for my money, hands down. And it is amazing to me that it has been two years already. It's just like, what? <laughs> Back to the vlog, uh, vlog, by the way. I'm stoked that you guys are, are digging these. They're fun to make. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try and make them as often as possible, as often as my schedule allows. I'm a busy boy these days, but these are really, really fun, and it seems like people are enjoying them, and I'm getting a lot of amazing feedback, and people are talking about changes they're making in their diet, and it just, it fucking, I'm so stoked on it. So, um, yeah, I realized that I have, I have a can of green in my refrigerator that I thought I already drank, so there is some age on it. I think like I, it might be over three months old now, which hashtag team old IPA. I don't think I've ever had a treehouse beer that old, but I figured today would be the perfect day. It's two years to the day that I had my first can of green to go home and crack one of them and kind of talk about it, see how I feel about it. I know this is not a fresh can, but kind of give my thoughts and just over the last two years, like what hazy beer did for me and what it's, you know, what it continues to do. and. I don't know where we think we're, everyone's going with hazy beer, but um, it is a freaking ridiculously gorgeous day today here in North County, San Diego. I mean, they almost all are, but uh, it's like 74 degrees. And every time the weather's like this, which is almost every day, I get these crazy cravings for like barbecue -y food. Um, admittedly, growing up in California, I'm not a barbecue guy. I'm not, <laughs> I know nothing about like real awesome barbecue, but I always enjoyed as a kid and even as an adult, like going to barbecues where people would like barbecue ribs or like make, you know, they'd make like pulled pork sandwiches, brisket, all that good stuff. So I always get these cravings for bar, I think it's the sauce that I crave, that barbecue-y kind of sauce. So a couple years ago, um, the Munchies YouTube page uploaded, there was this guy who did a video on a pulled mushroom sandwich. And I watched it and I was like, this is fucking amazing. But he was using like, crazy mushrooms that I couldn't get and he had this smoker set up which I don't have and um, I kind of adjusted it a bit to fit like what I can do um, easily with what I have available so uh, I use portobello mushrooms which are my favorite mushrooms they're super meaty and it's like a really cool food to eat if you decide to cut meat out of your diet um, it's something that was a go-to when I first changed my diet I was eating portobello mushrooms, um, portobello mushroom sandwiches all the time. I loved them, just kind of eating them like burgers. But when I saw this recipe, I'm like, dude, we could totally do that um, with portobello mushrooms and make sandwiches out of them. So I am craving that right now. I figured this would be a perfect, it's super, super easy to do. It's like five or six ingredients. You make a kale slaw with it, which is fucking money. Awesome, awesome stuff. So uh, let's go to the grocery store, grab some, I need some mushrooms. <laughs> I need to get some mushrooms to make these sandwiches. We'll make them real quick. And then we'll sit out in the backyard of this glorious day and uh, and crack a can of green and just celebrate the last two years of Treehouse being in my life.
got semi busted uh, in the store <laughs> for filming. The guy was like, um, I don't think you're allowed to film in here. And I was like, oh, sorry. I don't know what's going on with that, so. We're done. Uh, I ended up getting the Annie's organic barbecue sauce. Well, that's what I'm saying. He uh, just because it is be easy, it, it says it right on the label, so I grabbed it. No idea if this is good. It doesn't really matter. The sandwich is good. The coleslaw is good. Let's go cook. <laughs> cooking things. Hope you guys uh, dug that recipe. It's really, really good. I would highly recommend trying it. Um, it's a super easy way to, like I said, substitute something that kind of is something that you might crave. I love mushrooms and um, they're really, really meaty. So it's a really, really cool uh, thing to have. So um, we have a full belly. Let's talk about green. So it's been two years, two years today since we had this fantastic, fantastic beer. Um, I gotta thank Darwin for sending me. He's the one who got me hooked on my treehouse beers. Um, I remember he did a review of Green when he first got it. And remember, this beer is over three months old. This was canned on, let's see here. This was January 4th. So today's March, I don't have anything to put that on, but March uh, 31st, so just at three months old. Um, but yeah, Darwin reviewed this beer and I remember seeing it going, this is insane. I can't believe like that's a, a hoppy beer. Sorry. Stop. I can't believe that's a hoppy beer. Like it looks nothing like a hoppy beer. And he was just like, the way he described it when he was smelling it and tasting it, I was like, I need to somehow have this beer. And fortunately, he got extras and sent me a can. I had sent him some beers just to review. Um, this was when I was just starting my... I don't even know if I was reviewing beers. I might, uh, yeah, I, I think I was. I just sent him some beers to review that I, that I wanted him to try. That was back when he liked West Coast beers. 
<laughs> just kidding, Darwin. Um, and so he just, as a thank you, just kind of sent me a box back and green was in it. And I remember just thinking about that beer all day long. I can still smell that right now, by the way. Um, and it showed up and I was just like, I thought about it all day long when I got it. I'm like, I'm going to review this. I can't wait. This is going to be fantastic. And it absolutely blew my mind. I'd never had anything like it before. Yeah, so you can definitely still, I, like I, I can smell that. It's a touch on the malty side. It's not like a fresh can, but... Anyways, uh, reviewed it, and like I said, it, it absolutely blew my mind. Um, I couldn't believe what I was t smelling, I couldn't believe what I was tasting, and it like set me on this odyssey of like wanting to, I needed more Treehouse beer, I knew that for sure, but I wanted to like check out this hazy style of beer because I'd never heard of it. I can't believe how loud it is out here, by the way. Sorry, I just want to be outside, it's so nice. But I remember I went through, I mean, it's been almost two years now, and I went through a phase where all I wanted to drink was hoppy, or hazy hoppy beer, and now that the, the market is so saturated these days, everyone's doing hazy beer and it's kind of like, it's, I don't know, the novelty of it, I guess, is worn off. I still enjoy hazy beer, um, but it's just, I think, I don't know if there's, is there such thing as too much of a good thing? I don't know. That is still amazing. It definitely has shown si signs of age. It's not the same beer it is when it's fresh, but it's so mellow. Um, it's almost like this tangerine kind of pineapple -y juice thing, but it's got this killer dank. Green's very dank to me. It's very dank, and it's got this bready kind of crackery, just solid bready crackery. Like, just the hops are just sitting on that, and it just melds so well. Don't get me wrong, I love fresh green. I wouldn't recommend sitting on green, um, but this is still amazing. And the fact that I'm holding it two years later on the same day, it just makes my heart happy. So, um, but yeah, like the whole hazy New England style IPA thing, I'm kind of getting burnt out on it. And it's really weird to say that. And a lot of people give me a lot of crap for saying that, but it's just me being honest with you guys. Um, I remember in my older reviews from the last couple of years, I was just begging, pleading anyone in California to brew this style of beer and everyone's doing it now. And now I'm like, oh, I'm kind of over it. You know, there it's, I, I don't know if it's because not everyone's doing it right. Not not all of them are great. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, I just I've been wanting that kind of dry, danky West Coast style beer again, and I, I don't know what it is. Um, I'm sure there's people watching this video that maybe you just had your first hazy beer for the first time, and you're going crazy over it, and that's awesome. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the hazy beer craze. Um, but I don't know, like, how, is this a fad? How long is this gonna last? Are, are we gonna have hazy beer forever? I guess we are, right? I mean, these guys aren't gonna start brewing any kind of different style of beer, I don't think. Oh, so good. But I just, I feel like a lot of these beers, I don't know if it's because they're brewed with the same yeast strain, if they're all using the same hops, they're kind of starting to taste the same. And I don't recall in all of my years of drinking West Coast style IPAs thinking that. Like, I never thought, oh, this ruination tastes like Sculpin, and this Sculpin tastes like Citrus Showers, and this Citrus Showers tastes like Fortunate Islands, and Fortunate Islands tastes like um, Exponential Hoppiness, and Exponential Hoppiness tastes like whatever the next, you know, Ale Smith IPA. Like, they didn't taste the same to me. I don't know if because those guys were just brewing beers differently with different hops. I don't know. So um, I am over the moon stoked uh, with Treehouse beer. I'm so, so thankful that Green came into my life. And I'm so, so thankful that Nate brewed this beer because um, it's amazing. And it's been a fun, fun two years with Hazy Beer. Um, I just kind of, I don't know where we go from here. I mean, I guess everyone will just continue doing it until it's just so saturated that people, like it's not a big deal anymore. It's just, is this going to be the norm for IPAs? I don't know. I'm wondering what you guys think. Um, and I'm wondering if anyone like thinks the same way that I'm thinking like does anyone feel the same way? Are you kind of getting tired of the hazy beer? Like are you juiced out? Um, I don't know if it's just like something I need to take a break from for a while or maybe I'll never have that same kind of Fire for these beers or maybe I just you know, maybe I need to take a break who knows but um, Cheers to two years of green because this beer if you've never had this beer you need it um, This is my favorite 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 IPA um, this is, I think, the best single IPA that there is, especially one that's readily available. They brew this a lot, well, when Galaxy Hops are available, but um, for my money, Team Green, hashtag Team Green, 
forever, ever, ever, ever. Um, and I can't, I really can't wait to like have the next can of beer blow my mind the way this one did. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know when that will happen, if it does happen. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to that day because this beer will forever hold a special place in my heart. So, um, yeah, this was fun to do. This was really, really fun. Um, I'll leave a link to my green review if you haven't seen it. It's my most watched beer review and I'm very proud of that because it's my favorite beer so <laughs> um, if you haven't seen it you can check it out it was on back when I was had a shitty webcam and I think my tripod was crooked during that review so like the whole <laughs> the whole uh, garage is crooked and it's pretty funny I had just gotten over a cold I remember so I sound really nasally but um, yeah Darwin thank you sir for uh, for sending me on my hazy beer odyssey it's been it's been awesome so um, want to thank all you guys uh, for watching these videos um, the response like I said before has been overwhelmingly positive and awesome um, you guys are amazing people are saying that they're trying the food that we're eating and they've been starting to kind of make changes in their diet I, it was pretty eye-opening to see how much of us are in the same boat as far as there was a lot of people who commented ever since I got into craft beer I've also gained weight I'm overweight now because of it it's a really really tough thing to to deal with just because you don't think about it when you go from you know all these years of drinking light beer to all of a sudden drinking these awesome craft beers you don't think about it calorically ever you're just like hey let's get together let's share beers let's drink more beers let's try this let's try that um, and it takes its toll on everyone so hopefully some of these videos can be informative to people like I said if I can help one person then it was worth it um, that's all I really care about so it sounds like that's happening which is amazing so I'll keep doing these vloggy ish kind of videos as long as everyone you know watches them and enjoys them um, they are a lot of work for me because like I said I'm I'm super busy with work and with the kids but I'll, uh, I'll upload these as often as I can like I'm very excited about food again and I want to like share food share beer share all the good stuff with you guys so um, yeah thank you so much for watching and there's a bunch of new subscribers welcome to the channel thank you for subscribing thank you for watching the videos really really appreciate it so uh, more vlogs will come more beers more beer reviews will come um, yeah and that's it cheers to uh, cheers to two years of green cheers to treehouse I'm really really stoked to see um, what they do with their new space they I've been following up all their progress on Twitter it looks freaking awesome really 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 looking forward to uh, a trip out there so yeah I'm out of here guys as always thank you so much for watching and remember, go eat some plants, dudes!